Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a very warm welcome from the headquarters of Diamond Aircraft Industries here in Wiener Neustadt, Austria. My name is Duncan Gerard, and it is my pleasure to be your host for today's rollout event of the latest special mission aircraft from Diamond, the DA-62 Survey Star. Although we would love to welcome you here in person, the current circumstances require us to make this an exciting virtual presentation. Therefore, some of my guests were not able to be here in person. I am very happy that you are joining us tonight for this remarkable event at our historic airfield here in Wiener Neustadt, where aircraft production began way back in 1915. And later, during World War II, the Wiener Neustadt Flugzeugwerk produced almost 9,000 of the famous Messerschmitt BF-109s right here at this location. Now it is the home of Diamond Aircraft, headquartered in Austria with facilities in Canada and China. Founded in 1981, Diamond has pioneered many aviation innovations, achieved numerous milestones and won countless industry awards. Today, Diamond Aircraft has more than a thousand employees worldwide and offers the most complete range of certified piston aircraft. Please welcome my first virtual guest, the CEO of Diamond Aircraft Austria. Good evening, Mr. Frank Zhang. Diamond has manufactured well over 5,000 aircraft that are flown by private pilots, professional flight schools, and institutions worldwide. Can you share your thoughts on Diamond's recent developments and what we can expect for the future? Diamond Aircraft is a global leader in the general aviation industry with production facilities in three continents, including North America, Europe, and Asia. My name is Frank Zhang, and I'm the CEO of Daimler Aircraft Industries GmbH in Vienna, Neustadt, Austria. Daimler was founded in 1981 and is renowned for innovation and aviation first. We showcase the most complete range of certified piston aircraft models in both civil and mission-specific markets. Recent examples of our cutting-edge programs, including the DA-50RG, Dymo Aircraft Reconnaissance Trainer, DART, and DA-62MPP Service Star. With our breakthrough innovation in jet fuel burning piston engines and advanced composite airframe designs, we have created a new era of safe and efficient flying. Today, a growing number of Daimler aircraft are equipped with our own Austrian engines and are operated by private pilots, professional flight training institutions, and a governmental agency around the world. With constant growth projected for the future, Daimler has secured a leading position in the general aviation forum. Our targets remain the same. Stay true to our progressive philosophy, continue our innovation and advancement in aviation, and be an industry leader worldwide. Team spirit is something that is valued very highly at Diamond, and this is how it represents in daily life. We like to call ourselves a family. We greet the sunrise and prepare for a new day. We find inspiration and gather strength. What unites us? A common vision. A common dream. We share a destination, even though our roads may be different. At Diamond Aircraft, we believe a family is also a promise to one another. A promise to do our best every day, hand in hand across continents, combining our individual skills to achieve a common goal. Upholding our commitment to excellence in everything we do. to not just grow, but grow together. To not just go, 
but go further. And help dreams take flight. At Diamond Aircraft, we combine attention to detail with cutting-edge technology and pioneering innovation. Our dedication to the quality of our engineering and workmanship makes our aircraft the safest in their class. Our global team of experts not only looks back with pride on the long tradition of aircraft design, but also looks forward facing the challenges of tomorrow. We are building a sustainable future for general aviation globally. Not simply to achieve our own ambitions, but those of future pilots. More than just building aircraft, we see our work as a promise to you. A promise dedicated to the dream of flying. Your dream of flying. Now Mr. Marcus Fisher, Director of Special Mission Aircraft, joins me. Good evening, Marcus. Diamonds are among the most popular flight training aircraft in the world, not just because of their efficiency, which is also a huge advantage of Diamonds Special Mission Aircraft. Can you please tell us what led you to develop the DA-62 Survey Star and about its key attributes? Thank you, Duncan. First, I would like to take the opportunity to have a closer look to the history of our special mission aircraft vision. Back in 2005, a group of key diamond aircraft employees had a revolutionary and pioneering idea to demonstrate great courage and lateral thinking in modifying the existing DA-42 Twin Star to an airborne platform carrier. The MPP, the multi-purpose platform, has been born. Markus, tell us what is necessary in your opinion What's required to develop a new type of aircraft? As in so many other outstanding examples, the mixture of innovation thinking, the absolute commitment to the idea, a young, motivated team, and no bureaucratical obstacles led to today's innovative product range, including the DA42 MPP, the DA62 MPP, as well as the DART program. From past to present, the survey market is not new to Diamond Aircraft. We have already considered, designed and manufactured a quite clever design to combine airborne laser scanning with airborne mapping technology in our DA42 Geostar. Our principal approach to use a full composite state-of-the-art aircraft operated on lowest maintenance cost has been very successful and proved the concept that the traditional airborne mapping business is ready for something revolutionary. Marcos, tell us about the feedback from the legendary DA-42 MPP Geostar. Only the size of the aircraft in combination with required payload challenged the DA-42 Geostar a little bit in a way that we had to go back to our design studio and develop Diamond Aircraft's next generation survey aircraft. We accepted this challenge, 
coming from the market and kicked off the DA462 Service Star program. As one of our market research results, we learned that the enormous maintenance cost of the older manufactured aircraft stresses the quite cost-sensitive survey business very much. Long lead times on spare parts and aircraft maintenance actions do not allow an effective and profitable operation. We understood the service bi survey business is often limited to golden weather opportunities, where everyone must perform their services until the next bad weather period is coming in. This is very understandable. So what can you tell us about the maintenance requirements of the DA-62 Survey Star? We know the 100 hours maintenance interval on our DA-62 MPP compared to the 50 hours on Lycomics or expensive maintenance cost on turbines will support this idea of a commercial lean operation. At least over 3,500 Jet A1 powered engines in operation and more than 1.5 million flight hours demonstrates that Diamond Aircraft is doing this very successful. So it appears maintenance costs are very important to the survey business. Tell us more about the design and ideas behind the DA-62 Survey Star. As a fundamental design strategy, we decided to stick to our traditional strengths regarding piston-powered jet fuel technology, fail-safe carbon fiber airframe structure, single lever engine control, all based on lowest operating maintenance cost. Having finalized this backbone, our next target was to generate a design that is able to cover most of the existing high-tech service sensor units in the market. To satisfy the market, we had to carry out two major changes. EASA SDC based, including a 20 inch hatch in the badly main structure of the DA62 MPP, as well as a new seating configuration. The universal nose capability provides additional room for mission equipment installations and rounds up the multi sensor configuration. At the maximum takeoff mass of 2,300 kilo, carrying a typical multi sensor configuration like a Regal VQ782, a Wechsel Osprey sitting on a SOMAC mount GSM4000 coordinated by an IGI CCNS5 FMS, the aircraft is ready to operate six hours based on full fuel and a two-man crew. As an executive summary, I must really express how proud we are here at Diamond Aircraft. We invested so much energy, resources and passion into this project to be able to host today's DA62 MPP service star launch. Thank you, Marcus. Last but not least, is there something you want to share with us here at the end? At the end, I would like to close with a slightly modified famous excerpt by Neil Armstrong. That is likely closest to what we expect in the future. That's one small step for our division, one giant leap for diamond aircraft industries. So let's take a look at how these remarkable aircraft are built.
So as I understand, Diamond provides the airframe, then where do the sensors come from? Yes, this is a good question. There are two aspects to be considered. First, the high aviation standards to become an approved aircraft manufacturer that Diamond Aircraft Industries is, including our production organization as well as our design organization approval and our internal standards, which are even probably higher. As we know, there are many different players out there to supply a varied range of different products to provide airborne sensing mission equipment. In many cases, Diamond Aircraft acts as prime to the end customer, taking over full commercial and technical responsibility. Another very important factor is our reputation and commitment to quality, on-time delivery and professionalism. As a result of these, only the most professional companies remain as potential partners of Diamond Aircraft. I'm more than happy and thankful to have the privilege to present our long-term partner companies. Every single of them we know from the very first day where they showed the same attitude, commitment and courage to stand above. We asked them to provide some words to support our Service Star Launch event. Thank you. Dear Diamond and pilots around the world, we all would have liked to meet in person with a proper celebration of the launch of the new Diamond DA62 Service Star. Unfortunately, this is not possible in these times. Today we only see each other digitally. IGI is manufacturer of surveying equipment for more than 40 years now and we are working together with Diamond to build the best turnkey solutions worldwide. IGI offers aerial cameras and LiDAR systems with our integrated world leading flight management and GNSS IMU system to offer complete solutions for efficient service. IGI sees very high potential in the new DA62 service star because the aircraft has a larger hatch to mount a 2-in-1 nadir and oblique aerial camera together with a LiDAR scanner. Every day the world is evolving. As new cities and communities are built, there's a need for advanced planning with accurate geospatial data. To answer this growing demand, Phase 1 introduces POS 880 Oblique and Nadir system, the new 280 megapixel large format oblique system for high resolution geospatial missions and 3D models. 
The solution's flexibility enables dual configuration for collecting 3D oblique and 2D imaging. The POS 880 is based on the established technology of 150 megapixel and 280 megapixel cameras, which comprises the backside illuminated CMOS sensor for perfect image quality. The lens's integrated RS shutter, with its long proven reliability and high speed, delivers record breaking actuation capacity. The unbeatable performance of the capture rate contributes to the highest accuracy and quality for effective 3D modeling projects. Ultra-fast writing capability and large storage capacity is provided by the control unit. Thanks to its sleek design and adjustable plate, the POS 880 is installed in minutes and fit most aircraft. With the new generation Phase 1 software, flight planning, data collection, and image processing are easy and efficient. Phase 1 designed an open system, allowing freedom to work with any leading post-processing software. The POS 880 is developed with uncompromised quality and the best ROI for 3D and 2D imaging missions. Book your demo today. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear aviation enthusiasts, my name is Peter Rieger, and it is a pleasure for me to address a few words to you on this special occasion in my position as the Business Division Manager for Airborne Laser Scanning and on behalf of Dr. Johannes Riegel himself, the founder and CEO of Riegel Laser Measurement Systems. The relation between Diamond Aircraft and Riegel Laser Measurement Systems, which is lasting for almost 15 years now, has developed extremely well and successful for all parties involved for our esteemed customers, as well as for Diamond and Regal ourselves. Regal Laser Measurement Systems has been engaged in the development and production of laser scanners for terrestrial and airborne applications since the mid-90s of the last century. The breakthrough in the airborne sector came in 2004 with our pioneering new airborne laser scanner LMS Q560, the first use of glass fiber amplified laser transmitters resulted in a pulse repetition rate much higher than that of the devices already available on the market at that time. Digital data processing techniques applied for the first time in the civilian sector resulted in an enormous increase in data quality. Last but not least, the compact size, low weight and attractive price of the device opened a new dimension of airborne laser scanning. After the initial sales success of this new instrument, the contact with Diamond Aircraft was almost inevitable. At that time, it was in 2005, Diamond had also launched an extremely innovative new product. The twin-engine passenger aircraft DA-42 was the first of its kind with diesel engines, a glass cockpit, carbon fiber te composite technology and more. Diamond was planning to introduce a special version of this plane for professional tasks in surveying and remote sensing. So what could be more obvious than to marry these two unique Austrian products, the Diamond DA42 and the Regal LMS Q560, and bring them to the market as a fully integrated and certified turnkey solution named the Diamond DA42 MPP. The aircraft was equipped with a special belly pod that could house two laser scanners, digital cameras, and a high-grade IMU GNSS navigation system. A well-designed workstation in the aircraft cabin makes it easy for the system operator to work during long survey flights. The first beneficiaries of this development were Diamond and Regal ourselves. Diamond purchased laser scanners from Regal for their cu uh, customers, and Regal ordered and received the first fully equipped DA42 MPP for using it as our own company aircraft in 2007. To date, Regal conducted well over a thousand airborne laser scanner tests and many survey flights with this aircraft, and we never once had to complain about reliability or performance. The past few years have, of course, not gone by unused. Diamond developed several variants of the DA42 MPP equipped with instruments for various applications, not least for the steadily growing family of Regal Airborne laser scanners. The latest development 
The beautiful DA62, also intended for professional purpose, is impressive. The ready for takeoff survey aircraft, Diamond DA62 Survey Star, is unsurpassed on the market, and Regal is very proud to be again in the position to contribute to it in the form of its cutting edge airborne laser scanners VQ780 Mark II and VQ1560 Mark II. We wish Diamond Aircraft, their customers, and their partners the best of success with this new aircraft, the Survey Star, and gladly look forward to our further cooperation. My name is Sebastian Schreiber, and I'm the CTO of Sumaka Gehina. We are a company who design and manufacture gyro stabilization mounts for airborne land and marine applications. Since 2004, we gained more and more market experience, and our stabilization devices became the standard for aerial cameras and paddles. Our systems are sold worldwide, and we are considered to be the market leader for gyro stabilization mounts, especially in the airborne sector. So the main task of our stabilization platform is actually to keep the payload in a level position, which drastically reduces movements of the sensor system in general. So the units make actually a noticeable difference when it comes to data capturing in general. Um, we've been working with uh, Diamond since 2006. And when they started to actually develop um, uh, an aircraft specifically designed for geospatial data acquisition processes. Um, we, we supplied them with a GSM 3000 um, for their nose part, but uh, we, we noticed quite quickly that this device is too heavy for their applications. So we decided to actually develop uh, a specific stabilization mount for their knees, needs, which was the SSM 350L which fitted the, the nose pod quite well because it was very lightweight and kind of yeah, customized for their nose pod solution. Over the years um, or after some time, we developed the GSM 4000 and we made sure that it also fits the nose pod, which is nowadays also the case. So for the DA42 MPP Geostar, the GSM 4000 was uh, compatible. And yeah, we also have been a a uh, partner for, for years now on uh, trade shows, uh, for instance, as, uh, on the Intergeo, we always shared um, a booth with uh, Diamond. We are actually very happy that Diamond choose uh, now the, the GSM 4000 as part of their new DA62 MPP Survey Star. Our mount is now actually integrated into the hatch, so into the aircraft cabin itself, which is um, a large difference compared to the DA42 MPP setup. I think this is a, a really good improvement because now um, the accessibility of the sensor system and the stabilization mount is highly improved. Another advantage um, I personally see uh, within this configuration is that um, you can use a standard GSM 4000 instead of the customized version which was uh, necessary for the old NOSPOT system. GSM-4000 uh, itself fits the aircraft very well because of its high compatibility. It is kind of the perfect choice for a wide variety of state-of-the-art sensors like large-format aerial camera systems, hyperspectral sensors, airborne laser scanning systems and mapping systems in general. Um, the aircraft itself seems to be a real, real all-rounder. I think it's very versatile because you can actually accommodate a whole bandwidth of sensors at the same time. So you can have a ladder with a camera or a hyperspectral camera all within one aircraft. So we are convinced that Diamond Aircraft will set a new benchmark in the surveying industry with the new DA62 MPP survey star. It's always a pleasure to work with Diamond and other industry partners hand in hand and to offer a platform which kind of generates the best possible solution for our clients. If you'd like to receive more information on our gyro stabilization mounts, please visit www.somag-he.de. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alexander Richard. I am the CEO of Excel Imaging. Um, it's a great honor talking to you and I would like to thank Diamond Aircraft very much for the possibility of being part in this video. 
And with, with that, I would really congratulate Diamond Aircraft for launching such a fantastic airplane, the DA-62 Service Star. Within the next few minutes, I would like to introduce Vex Limiting, our company, and I would like to talk about the cooperation we have with Diamond Aircraft. At Vexel, uh, we are mainly the manufacturer of the Ultracam camera family, that is a state-of-the-art camera family consisting of several camera lines or modules which are serving dedicated applications um, such as photogrammetry or 3D city mapping or wide area mapping. Along with the camera there is a software that is called Ultramap that is our processing software so it is a workflow software system where you can process the raw imagery, you can do aerial simulation, you can generate point clouds, surface model, terrain models and 3D tints. And in addition to our hardware and software offering, we have launched an initiative a few years ago, which is called Vexel Data Program. Within this program, we are collecting imagery over urban areas and also nationwide imagery for the use in disaster scenarios. And also, we have a regular image collection for worldwide companies and the insurance industry. Our cooperation with Diamond Aircraft started already in the year 2005. This is when Diamond Aircraft was launching the D842 MPP, this multi-props platform, and that plane was integrated with our camera. Well, I should probably say it the other way around. Our camera was integrated in that plane as well as a Regal LiDAR scanner and that formed a very efficient, very unique mapping platform. Um, and so over the years, a very good uh, cooperation with Diamond Air was established and we are proud of being a partner of Diamond Air since then. Now we are part of a fantastic launch again, the DA-62 Survey Star. That is a fantastic airplane also for flight missions like aerial capture missions. It uh, has outstanding capabilities. Besides the ease of use and besides uh, the, the, the easy handling and the efficiency of the plane, it has features like a 100 hour maintenance interval, it runs with, with piston engines, consumes jet fuel and it has an 8 hour mission endurance which is fantastic for long flights, for long aerial flights and, make this, and this makes this plane a very versatile, very efficient, very cost efficient plane. So when it comes to the camera integration into the DA-62, uh, there's also a new concept which makes it much easier to install or to integrate the camera into the plane. So in the DA42 MPP the camera was mounted in a nose pot in front of the plane. So there was a kind of a split system required. The sensor head was in the nose pot, the camera the electronic and the storage was in the, in the, in the cabin. Now with the DA62 the whole camera system can be installed in the body, in the cabin. That makes the installation easier, uh, the handling is, is easier, it also saves weight, it is um, it has beneficial for, for, for the flying conditions. Um, so the, the DA62 is a perfect plane for having sensor systems like our Ultracam installed inside the body, inside the cabin of the plane. We are using standard components like a stabilized mount um, and we can use the, the, the UltraNav system for the GPS, INS recognition, but the camera can also uh, make use of the systems which are installed in the plane. So all in all, the combination of the 62 and the UltraGum gives an outstanding platform for missions and delivers exceptional results in the efficiency, but also in the quality of the data. In closing, we wish Diamond Aircraft ever success with this, with this fantastic plane, the DA-62 Survey Star, and we are looking forward to seeing many of them flying with an Ultracam installed. I would like to thank you very much for the opportunity again or for being proud, and I wish you a fantastic day and a fantastic launch of this exciting new plane. Thank you very much. My next virtual guest, Mr. Aiki Damral, 
Managing Director of Geofly in Germany, the launch customer of the DA62 Survey Star. Good evening, Eike. I am very interested to first learn why you chose the DA62 Survey Star for your sophisticated operation in the aerial survey industry, and what are your plans for your new aircraft? Well, let me first tell you something about the Geofly. Geofly is headquartered at the business airport in Magdeburg in central Germany. We have been experts in the production and processing of photogrammetric products since 2008. Our portfolio covers classical aerial survey, oblique image flights, laser scanning and digital solutions for 2D and 3D geodata. With over 30 employees, we are able to carry out both small regional projects and large-scale nationwide projects. Geofly was always interested in using the latest technology. The development of new technologies is also part of our area of responsibility. The purchase of the new DA-62 Survey Star aircraft was a very special step for us. The DA-62 is applicable very versatile. This is due, on the one hand, to the wide range of speeds at which we can operate the aircraft and on the other hand to the possibility of refueling the aircraft with jet fuel. The low consumption of the DA-62 of approximately 50 liters per flight hour is another important point when we considering efficiency. A big advantage for us is, as a launch customer was that we were able to help design the technical installations from the start. This close cooperation has resulted in an aircraft that supports professional work in aerial survey to 100%. The legal side of the operation of a survey aircraft could also be put on safe feet with Diamond aircraft. The necessary permits have been issued for all sensors and the associated te technical equipment. This is particularly important to us as we operate the aircraft within our own special operations declaration. The aircraft is used for various surveying tasks. Mainly it is about laser scan measurements and aerial photo measurements. Vexi camera systems are used. For example, the Ultracam Eagle M3 and the Ultracam Osprey M4.1. For LiDAR measurements, a regal scanner of the Q780i series can be operated as a dual sensor system in the aircraft nose and standalone in the main hatch. The already mentioned bandwidth of the speed of the aircraft leaves a lot of space for various surveying applications. At low speeds of 90 knots, high resolution aerial images, image data with one centimeter ground resolution can be acquired or high density laser scan point clouds can be recorded. In contrast to this, speeds of 180 knots can be reached in a stable manner in altitudes of more than 12,000 feet thus contributing to the rapid processing of large-scale projects. The DA-62 also has many advantages in the international use. The high speed shortens the transfer times and by refueling with jet fuel, the fuel supply is ensured at almost all airports. All in all, of course, we now have to gain experience with a new aircraft. However, thanks to the excellent cooperation between Geofly and Diamond Aircraft, we are very sure that the decision in favor of this aircraft has brought us a great technological step forward. We've talked a lot, and I'm now very excited to introduce you to the latest workhorse for the aerial survey industry. Ladies and gentlemen, the DA-62 Survey Star. Since the beginning of mankind, it was our strong desire to see our marvellous planet Earth from a bird's eye perspective. It took hundreds of thousands of years until we lifted our feet off the Earth for the very first time. With the birth of the aviation industry, technological progress gained incredible pace. Soon it was discovered that airborne images of the Earth can be of great value.
today, nearly 120 years after mankind's first powered flight, Diamond Aircraft Industries proudly introduces the new groundbreaking DA-62 Survey Star. Impressive, isn't it? I believe you would like to learn more, just as I do. Therefore, design engineer Mr. Andrew Pietzinka will give us a brief technical introduction. Hello, Andrew, and welcome. Good evening. Hello, Duncan. Thank you. So please give us a brief description of the platform. The DA-62 Survey Star was an exciting and challenging project to work on. The design goals were to develop the most aerodynamic shape without using external pods, to place a large format camera inside of the cabin and maintain an operator station in the rear passenger area. Let's have a closer look. Sure. It looks great. We're really proud of our design. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. Sure. As you can see, the rear seat bench was replaced with a 20 inch hatch on the right hand position. Mm -hmm as well as a fully adjustable operator seat in the left-hand position. Yes. The location for the sensor was chosen because of the center of gravity, as well as ease of access during flight to the vital mission equipment. Mm -hmm. Several changes had to be made to the DA-62 MPP to incorporate this design. Mm -hmm. For example, the aileron control servo and the backup ECU battery had to be relocated, as well as the rudder control cable repositioned to allow the sensor hatch to be placed. Mm -hmm. Additional layers of reinforcement had to be added to the fuselage surface mm -hmm. to ensure a safe and robust design. The hatch is positioned on the center wing surface and it's located in between the rear main spar and the rear baggage compartment bulkhead. Mm -hmm. It features a full bolted design which allows the ease of removal and reinstallation during configuration changes mm -hmm. as well as scheduled maintenance intervals. Mm -hmm. The support structure features a lower carbon fiber section as well as an aluminum interface plate to which the sensors are mounted. Mm -hmm. This allows us to integrate aerial image cameras as well as laser scanners or hyperspectral sensors. Mm -hmm. The base plate design allows the SOMAG GSM-4000 or the Leica PAV-100 to be secured to the bracket. Mm -hmm. These two stabilization mounts were chosen because they offer the largest compatibility with the sensors available on the market today. Mm -hmm. For example, the Vexel Eagle and Osprey lines, as well as the Leica DMC, ADS, and City Mapper, or the Regal 1560 Mark II and 780 laser scanner, mm -hmm. or the Spesum Phoenix hyperspectral sensor. Mm -hmm. In addition to the sensor mount itself, the interior was upgraded with a carbon fiber shell, which improves the design aesthetics mm -hmm. and adds a mounting place for additional operator displays mm -hmm. or an operator table. A sensor seal with a rain guard trim is featured in the hatch itself, which improves the aerodynamics of the aircraft as well as closing it off from the outside environment. Mm -hmm. The rain trim diverts water droplets away from the hatch and sensor lenses during operation. It's important to note that when this seal is installed, the aircraft maintains its de-icing certification, yes. which is beneficial to ferry flights. Mm -hmm. In addition to the camera hatch, the operator's seating position was also completely redesigned. 
The seating position was shifted to the rearward 70 millimeters to provide a more ergonomic position as well as additional legroom. This not only improves the viewing angles to the displays, but also allows operators of various sizes to be comfortable in the cabin. Mm -hmm. The fully adjustable seat features an adjustable backrest as well as a lumbar support and an upper leg support. This reduces fatigue during long endurance missions mm -hmm. and provides a comfortable seating position. Nice. I would also like to mention that currently in design approval, there's an option to remove the full seat bench and replace it with two independent rear seats, mm -hmm. as you see here. Mm -hmm. A center console is also included, and this is beneficial for non-survey platforms, mm -hmm. such as law enforcement. Nice. Let's have a look at the rear baggage compartment. Mm -hmm. The rear baggage compartment features a reinforced floor, mm -hmm. which allows us to mount our 19-inch mission equipment rack. Mm -hmm. On this rack, we typically include mission computers, flight management systems, and data recording devices. This is a great location because it's in close proximity to the operator during flight, mm -hmm. as well as being close to the mission power control panel. Mm -hmm. Our mission power panel is fully customizable and controls all the power connections to the mission components. In addition to the survey platform, we have the multi-purpose nose. Let's have a closer look. Sure. As you can see, this aircraft features our WX multi-purpose nose. When paired with the multi-purpose nose, it allows the integration of multiple sensors on one platform. Mm -hmm. This greatly improves the efficiency of the aerial solution. Mm -hmm. For example, you can have a large format camera located in the cabin while mounting a laser scanner or hyperspectral scanner or a small gimbal mount in the nose. Mm -hmm. Simultaneous data collection is the most efficient way to have this platform configured. Mm -hmm. The weight limits are 60 kilograms in the nose baggage compartment and the nose combined. A special feature of this is that the weather radar is able to be optionally equipped because it's moved forward of its normal position. Mm -hmm. That concludes the technical features of the DA-62 Survey Star. That's it from my side. Thank you, Andrew. That is it. Thank you for joining us for this maiden virtual rollout event. If you are interested in learning more or in a demo flight, please get in touch with our sales team on the email address below. I hope you enjoyed it. It was my pleasure to host this event for you. Take care and happy landings.